Hello and welcome. My name again is Anissa Amat, writer, mother, and your meditation guide for today's meditation. The state of the world has felt heavy, sort of like a weight or an anchor. So today, during our time together, I'd like for you to just release this weight off of your shoulders, off of your hearts, and off of your beings. I'd like to start us off with a personal story. A couple of weeks ago, I was having a tough day with my 15-month-old daughter, Nyla. In addition to working full-time, she and I are together most of the day at home. The world is new to her, right? The emotions that arise within her are all new to her. And through her trying to figure that out, we are in the stage of her development where she is having temper tantrums. And this particular day, it seemed to be endless. I was struggling with patience, which is not the easiest task. There was a moment in the day where I got down to her level, eye level. So we were looking at each other and I looked at her with compassion and love. And I scooped her up in my arms and I just held her. And I whispered in her ear, you're okay. You're okay, Nyla. You're okay. And she was still squirming, trying to release herself from my hold. But I continued repeating it until she believed it to be true. She finally released herself and she looked up at me and smiled as if saying, you're right, mama, I am okay. As she returned to her laughter, as she returned to her joy and returned to herself, I asked myself, what part of me has been stripped of giving myself the same love and compassion? What part of me has not granted myself permission to have moments of mothering and nourishing and loving myself? When did I stop allowing myself to be in these tough moments, but to also return to my laughter, to return to my joy and to return to myself? So, I invite you now to close your eyes as we begin to reconnect with ourselves and with the things that bring us love and joy. So, beginning here by grounding yourself in a position that feels most comfortable, perhaps sitting with an elongated spine, chest softly pushed forward, or sitting with your legs stretched out front of you. And as you sit, Feel yourself becoming more grounded in the space that you're in, almost as if you're melting into yourself, allowing yourself to release any tension that has accumulated throughout your body, softening your face and releasing any tightness in your jaw. 
beginning to feel a deep and intentional sense of relaxation here as you allow yourself to simply be. To simply be with the natural stream of your breath as it flows through your body. To simply be with the rise and fall of your chest. Now, I would like for us to take a few deep breaths together. Inhaling love, one, two, three, allowing an exhale to escape between your lips, feeling your breath hum throughout your body, releasing any seeds of fear that have been planted within the soil of your being. Again, inhaling compassion. One, two, three, and your exhale, escaping between your lips, feeling your breath shush throughout your body as you release any discomfort that has nudged itself within your miraculous vessel. And one final breath, inhaling grace. One, two, three, your exhale purring throughout your body and past your lips as you release any debris that hopelessness has left behind. Returning to the natural rhythm of your breath, sinking deeper into this state of relaxation that you are cultivating for yourself today. If there are any thoughts that are attempting to infiltrate this space of peace and calm that you are carving out for yourself, for now, allow them to pass. Release them from your being with every natural out breath. During these times, you may have found it to be challenging to reconnect with the things or the people that you love most. You may have found it to be challenging to reconnect with your joy or your laughter. I want you to imagine here something that makes your whole body smile. And hold on to that. I want you to imagine here something that fills your belly with rumbles of laughter that escape through your teeth. And hold on to that. I want you to imagine here something that fuels you up and brings you joy. Hold on to that. Allowing yourself to bring your attention 
to your heart center as I speak the following words of things that could possibly spark a smile or joy, perhaps placing one or both hands over your heart to connect with its beating and to connect with the joy and love that moves through you. I love waking up to the sun, beaming through bedroom blinds, warming my skin. I love the promise and glory of a new day. I love how fragrant the smells of comfort and belonging and love feel in my home. I love the laughter that bursts like confetti rumbling from my child's belly. I love the joy that falls out of their mouths. I love the way it holds me and brings me back to myself. I love the way birds sing to me throughout the day. I love that I pause to listen to them. I love the way fresh flowers wrap my home in an intangible joy. I love the way I have learned to hold myself in love and compassion and grace. I love finding bliss in small moments throughout the day, a fresh breeze brushing across my skin, witnessing the sunset painting the sky, cotton candy pinks and lavender I love. The soft whispers of your okay that I whisper in the ear of my little one. I love the reminder that it radiates back to me. And taking a deep breath here as you begin to bring your awareness back into your body and back into the space that you're in. Navigating during these times while pregnant or during parenthood, it is so easy to feel alone. It is easy to feel like you don't always have someone who gets it. Personally, I have had moments when I just wanted to feel seen. I wanted to feel witnessed. I wanted to feel heard and held. I want you to know that I see you, that I hear you, and that I am holding you and wrapping you in the deepest light compassion, and grace. I want you to know that I am lifting you up and holding you towards the light. And I want you to remember to give yourself permission to return to your joy, to return to your laughter, and to return to yourself. Thank you.